right, time for a science lesson now, folks, from the two silly men in two silly blue hats. Nick, uh, an issue that we've just got to try and get our head around, and that is the issue of carbon. Andrew, it is a yes. global phenomenon, the yes. issue of carbon, but there is a particularly good and relevant story unfolding here yes. in the Tasmanian bush. We'll try and make sense of it. Forestry is about growing trees, and trees are essentially solid carbon, uh, made up of carbon. So when we're growing trees, we're growing carbon. And uh, if you're maintaining a forest and we're managing a forest sustainably, it means that we've got lots of carbon and we're managing that sustainably as well. Reducing our carbon emissions has become big news in recent times. All level of government are involved and industry is set for major overhauls over the next few years to meet new guidelines. Forestry, however, is one industry that can play a positive role in saving the world. Sure, when we, um, when we harvest a tree, um, some of the carbon is released um, because we have to regenerate. There's residue, there's some burning, there's rotting and that sort of thing. We also take some of the carbon and we store it um, into products, so you know, if it goes into building material or even paper. Uh, it all has a life and, it, and it's stored and, and we can calculate that. Um, but the important thing is we're regenerating the forest and so we're keeping the balance. All right, we're out in the bush here with Hans and any time you get to wear a stack hat is a good day. Now, Hans, this is a regenerated forest from around about when it was harvested sort of, what, eight or ten, ten years ago? Yeah, something like that. So what happens to the carbon from the forest, you know, as it's harvested? Well, some of the um, carbon is going to go into wood products that we take off, the saw logs and the uh, pulp wood, goes into paper, goes into products that we're using, goes into service. Um, some of the carbon is emitted um, because we burn the site and there's um, residues that are going to decay. Um, and a lot of the uh, carbon is still here on the site. So there's a lot of the big logs and that that aren't burnt re remain here and they'll remain here for decades, if not centuries. Um, and then, of course, we've got the new forest coming on and it's yeah, absorbing lots of carbon. Yeah. So this young forest will continue to absorb carbon you know, for 80, 100 years. Absolutely, yeah, and it's really stacking it on. It's uh, uh, forests of this age uh, are sort of growing at their maximum and they're absorbing carbon at their uh, maximum amount. So trees grow, they die, and we harvest. So what forest management is all about is balancing the growth and the harvest and the other sort of uh, withdrawals, if you like, from the forest. So it's a bit like a bank account. So um, we try and maintain the capital and we draw off the interest. That's the North Styx forest, old growth forest, and as carbon banks go, they don't get much better than that one. But as that forest has aged, you'll notice that a lot of the trees are dying and thus releasing their carbon back into the atmosphere. Young trees are a carbon soak, whereas your old trees are a carbon bank. So as well as the carbon which is stored inside a forest, it's also stored inside products which come from the forest. Houses, furniture, even paper all store carbon. Some products store the carbon for over 100 years. That's one of the beauties of wood. Um, not only does it store carbon itself, but it's a very, its carbon footprint is very low. So when we look at it compared to say steel uh, or, or aluminium, which is even worse if you can say in this regard great product aluminium but you know from a carbon footprint point of view a lot of energy uh, or even concrete which releases a lot of carbon dioxide when it's produced timber has only a fraction you know typically less than a tenth um, of the energy that goes into those products so while we're using wood we're not only storing carbon we're actually uh, reducing our use of energy by replacing other products Forestry is part of the climate change solution. It's one of the only industry sectors that is carbon positive. State forests are storing on average an extra 720,000 tonnes per year of carbon, the equivalent of 24% of the state's total emissions. Building timber homes could reduce carbon emissions by 25 tonnes per house. And young trees remove more carbon from the atmosphere than old trees. A, a future carbon economy has got to be a high wood using economy. Now after the break, a new tourism venture at Maydina.